Casual game fee is the hot new trend. See how game space is turning around the Web3 minigame matrix. Disclaimer, the text below is a press release that is not part of CryptoNews. Com editorial content. 2022 was the most important year for GameFi's development. The innovation from Playdorn to Extern model, together with the influx of capital raising and users rushing into Web3 has forged the glory of Web3 gaming. It's inevitable to say that when the bear market arrived, the GameFi sector also was affected on some level. Nevertheless, the Web3 gaming market continues to be one of the fastest growing segments of Web3, with an average number reaching up to 800,000 active unique wallets per day in some periods. Recently, GameSpace has teamed up with Spinterlands, Immutable X and Big. Time to hold one of the largest Web3 gaming tournaments, the Player One tournament, to bring up the hype of GameFi. The tournament has created mass buzz for the GameFi sector, with 200k plus Twitter engagements and more than 20k plus on-chain gamers participating in the 10-day tournament. On top of that, SkyV, a streamer with over 1.3m plus fanbase, has also joined the tournament to compete and battle for the ultimate prize pool. We can see that the love and passion of loyal Web3 gamers are still active in the market, but after Ixi Infinity is the representative game 5v1. Zero has faded out from the audience's eyes, the industry has become quiet and people have high expectations for AAA game 5 projects entering the scene. Many of the top AAA WebWo games, including Zynga and Ubisoft, have once said to enter Web3 but still haven't taken any moves. This then leads to the question of why AAA games rarely can make it to Web3. Why do AAA games have difficulties to enter Web3? Michael Cameron, CEO of GameSpace previously has helped with incubating one of the industry's first AA MMORPG Web3 game Bless Global. He states that AA games require a very high level of entry, usually teams with over $50 million in funding may barely squeeze into this queue. In addition, long R&D cycles and difficulties in profiting together with the bear market, all of these are the key factors that are hindering them to make this move. Cameron also once worked with his team to launch the industry's first game Fi as a service got S to help traditional WebWo games to enter Web3 and solve the problems of high threshold of participation and non-closed loop transactions for early game Fi users. However, the downturn of the game Fi sector in the bear market has slowed down the entry pace for WebWo gaming companies. At the same time, there are no explosive new games uprising in the industry. Under these circumstances, game space is turning strategies and found a great opportunity to focus on casual game Fi. GameFi minigames. If AA games can't make it, will minigames. In order to promote GameFi SDK, GameSpace developed a Web3 version of the classic minigame Merge Bird in 2022 as a prototype to show gaming developers how easy it can be to bring them rapidly on chain within seven days. This small move immediately brought 20k plus followers on GameSpace's Twitter and mass casual gamers started to flood on GameSpace app. Afterwards, GameSpace has launched Goat. Goat. A classic match 3 and clear game which acquired 600k plus weekly active users in the first week of its launch. Despite being an easy to play and fun game, players can earn mystery boxes of varying rarity such as gold, silver and bronze after passing the game. The mystery boxes can be sold on the NFT marketplace and through opening. The mystery boxes gamers can win us in different levels of merge bird NFTs. The random incentive introduced by the mystery boxes has created high participation for gamers. Data shows that GOAT GOAT has reached over 6M plus rounds, produced 2M plus mystery boxes and 1. 5M Merge Bird NFTs, setting an all-time record for casual game fight games. After these minigames, GameSpace has launched Magic Pot and Myth Mania. Over 1M plus Merge Bird NFTs were consumed in Magic Pot. In Myth Mania, the blind box incentive can be amplified 10 times by paying to open a mystery box, making the whole platform consistently profitable. This case is especially rare in a bear market when the platform has not yet issued tokens to break even and keep growing. Why casual game fi is growing against the odds. According to statistics, there are more than 4 billion users of minigames in the global market, and the casual games market will exceed $500 million in 2022 alone. There has always been a huge strength in minigames with short and easy development cycles, relatively easy to design the economic models and a huge user base due to the addition of social attributes. Moreover, with 77% of the user base and over 1 billion monthly users, minigames are often overlooked by the mainstream market but are in fact the mainstay of gaming. According to Cameron, the success of game space in the casual game fi sector is due to several reasons. First, it is easy to get started. Many games are easy to play, flexible and can consume some of the fragmented leisure time, which makes them able to attract a considerable amount of user scale and engagements. This is a feature and advantage of mini games compared to AA games which require complicated login and account pre-setups. Second, it's due to the choices of the mini games, from Merge Bird to Goat. Goat.
Then Melon Fusion Game Space insists on choosing to transform current or former hit minigames into casual game fight games, which brings promise to the games being playable. Thirdly, the capacity must be efficient. Based on Game Space's GA SSDK, all casual game fi games modifications are now completed within seven days, which is a key reason why Game Space is able to continue to hunt down market hotspots and breakthroughs. A loyal Game Space player Sandosh said, Before, I would be spending one two hours on Voodoo, a traditional Webpo minigame platform. After downloading Game Space, I haven't played any other platforms' games because it is all my favorite minigames on it. Other than that, I can also win rewards daily. Minigames are truly a great way to pass time and are friendly to everyone. The Lego Effects of GameFi The combination of a series of casual GameFi forms an effective ecosystem, similar to the Lego Effect in DeFi. Uniswap, for example, developed the underlying protocol for the AMM mechanism which can be used in various lending platforms such as Curve, while Vault projects such as YFI aggregate the proceeds of the various lending protocols. Each project has only a few or a few dozen developers, but building these Lego blocks can form an effective overlay of multiple projects together. Hence it adds up to a huge DeFi industry. It is the same for Game Space. The LIGO effect is evident in Game Space Casual Game Fi Hub. By launching a series of casual Game Fi games to form an ecosystem, each with a separate set of output consumption scenarios, while the EST game tools, NFTs, and game points GP generated in the games can be interchanged and converted to form an effective overlay. For instance, the mystery boxes obtained in GOAT, GOAT can be used in Mythmania. The Merge Bird NFTs produced in Mythmania can be used in Merge Bird and so on. The combination of multiple games not only multiplies the fun, but also creates a more robust economic model, avoiding the short life cycle of single games in the Playdorn era. What's next for Game Space? Game Space has announced it will be upgraded into a casual game fi hub to bring an extra hour of happiness for everyone in Web3. In the first quarter of 2023, Game Space is planning to launch more than 10 hit game fi mini games and expand to 20 in Qtwo. Game Space's Twitter followers are about to pass the 100k plus mark and expects to build up to 1m plus users within a year through the casual GameFi strategy, building up to the explosive growth of the bull market. In 2024, Game Space will also launch Galaxy Project Plan to invite more small game development team CPS to quickly access the platform, bringing more new ways to play and embrace the growth dividends brought by casual GameFi. The games that join the Galaxy Project plan still need to be professional and sophisticated, either new or classic, with a smooth gaming experience and enough mass appeal. Together with partners, GameSpace will also work with its partners to explore the future of social gaming, incorporating DID and other social game fi. About GameSpace, GameSpace is Web3's first casual game fi hub, focusing on bringing Webwo minigames rapidly on chain. Through free-to-play and Webwo entry methods on the platform, the series of casual game fi games will form an ecosystem that allows the game's rewards of us game props, NFT and game points GP can interchange and convert to form an effective overlay. Game Space has already launched classic mini-games such as Goat, Goat, Merge Bird, Melon Fusion and its own reward-focused game Myth Mania. Together with partners, Game Space will explore the future of social game fi, including DID and other Web3 innovations to bring in extra hour of happiness every day for Web3 users. Twitter apps, slash slash bit, li slash g schedule tw discords, slash slash bit, li slash g schedule ds medium apps, slash slash bit, li slash g schedule disc website apes, slash slash game space.